Hello there, and welcome to this series Introduction to Google Colab for Research. And the topic of this tutorial is how to develop and run Dash apps in Google Colab. So, Dash is a framework for building web analytic applications written on top of Flask, Plotly.js, and React.js. And it's a very good framework for building uh, data visualization apps with user interfaces in pure Python. So here you have dash.plotly.com, you have the documentation dash. And first we will look at Jupyter Dash, that is a library that makes it easier to develop dash apps within Jupyter environments. So here also at github.com slash plotly slash Jupyter Dash, you find how to install and also some examples that you can launch in Binder, for example, and some more information about Jupyter Dash. So the first thing what we are going to do is to install Jupyter Dash in our Google Colab environment using pip. Or you can also use Conda. We have another tutorial explaining how to use Conda inside the Google Colab environment. And you can take a look at our playlist and you'll find information on how to use Conda in a special tutorial. So Jupyter Dash is installed and now what we're going to do is just to look at this example here that you can launch in Binder for example or you find some notebooks here and there is a getting started IPython notebook. You can take a look. So we will just copy here. So we will import dash, import dash core components, and we will also use panda, pandas in this example. So let's import and execute the cell. Next, we will load and pre-process some data that is available from this GitHub. Copy here and run the cell. So now we have this pandas data frame. There's some table. This uh, loaded a CSV file into a pandas data frame. Now we will construct the app and build some uh, callbacks to interact. So here we are using an external style sheet that is available from here. Here there is this app using Jupyter Dash and we are using this external style sheet. Then we have some layout and we have some HTML Eve, and that there will be some drop down menus, there will be some radio items, we define some styles, another div. Here we have some callbacks, here's some update graph callback, here function to create a time series, another callback. So let's copy this, paste into our Google Colab and run. We have a problem here that Jupyter Dash is not defined because here we didn't import Jupyter Dash. So I forgot to import Jupyter Dash. So let's import it. Now we run this. Okay, everything seems to be looking good. And now we want to display inline. So we will run server using this inline so we can see inside a uh, Colab notebook cell and we can also run the server and this will display a new url and then we can use ngrok to tunnel and we can also access uh, externally but first let's run inline so it's loading and now we have here the uh, nice dash app and change scales. We have this hovering tools. You can see interacting nicely. We can change here. Let's see GDP, annual growth. And here, let's see uh, electric power consumption per capita. So this is uh, Azerbaijan. And then we have here this nice dash app running in line. 
inside the cell of our Colab notebook. What we are going to do now is instead of using Jupyter Dash, we will just use Dash, start the app, and tunnel using ngrok and access through this ngrok URL. So let's start a new notebook. I'll connect the Colab environment. I will install by ngrok. Here I will import by ngrok, import ngrok, and I will configure to use my ngrok authorization token, like we've done many times. Now, when my app is running, I can just ngrok connect to a certain port and we can access it from um, the internet. So, now what we are going to do is if we go back to the dash documentation, we can go here to dash tutorial. Let's take a look at this example here. We have this uh, hello dash web application and we will just copy this. But first, what we need to do is if dash is not installed, we need to install dash, the core components, HTML components. We also use the table. So let's run install dash now we will write the file test app.py and here we are going to put code for our app that we are going to copy from this example here let's execute the cells so we have here the test app.py here we are using the default port we can change this run server and to change port. But after we save this test app.py, what we'll do is we will tunnel and grok connect to the default port with 850. You can change the default port here, change here this uh, run app server. You put different parameters, we will use the default port. So now it's tunneled. What we do now is Python test app.py so we will run this test app it will run on localhost on port 850 but we are tunneling localhost port 850 to, to this external public url so when we click here you will have our dash app loading we have hello dash which is this example we've seen here and we just copied from here example here we have our nice hello dash app running from Google Colab environment. So, if you go back here to the documentation and you find, present, for example, the dash app gallery, and you have a lot of uh, examples here, and you access the code GitHub, there will be Plotly dash samples app. You go to the apps, you have many different apps that you can take a look and you can explore dash. This is a, just a tutorial on how to run and develop dash apps in the Google Colab environment and using Google uh, Colab notebooks. We can stop our app and Stop the tunneling, so ngrok.kill, 